We're on lesson four of chapter nine, which we're going to compare multiple representations. First, we're going to compare slopes, then we'll compare intercepts, then we'll solve a real world problem. Here's the main idea for us today, the multiple representations. A function can have many different representations, meaning you can explain the function in many different ways. For example, here's our first representation in words. A cell phone service charges $29 per month plus five cents per text message. If we would write that as an equation, your cell phone bill would be five cents times the number of texts that you make plus the $29 you pay per month. You could also show that with a table. If you did zero text messages, it'd be $29, five text messages would be $29.25, and so on. This shows the same as this. And then you could also show a graph. Zero text messages gives you $29, 20 text messages gives you a $30 bill. So we're going to be comparing different functions using these four different types of ways to represent them. First, we're going to compare slopes. So it says find and compare the slopes for the linear functions f and g. So here's f of x and here's g of x. Don't let g of x fool you. This is just another way to name a function. Well, if you know anything about slope-intercept form, slope-intercept form is m times x plus b. And then m is the slope. So for f of x, 10 would be the slope. So f of x is 10 for m. g of x will take a little bit more work to find, but we can still use that rise over run formula. So we could pick two points on the map and see how much it rises and how much it runs. So we have 0 and 40 and 1 and 55. So from 40 to 55, that looks like a rise of 15. From 0 to 1, that's a rise of 1. So our slope would be 15 over 1, or 15. So g of x would equal 15 for the slope. Then if we're comparing it, we would say g of x has a bigger slope by 5. Now we're going to compare intercepts. It says find and compare the y-intercepts for the linear functions f and g. So we have function f as represented by this table and function g is represented by the graph. Remember the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So in the table it's pretty easy to recognize if they give it to you here. When x is 0 the output is 3. So for f of x the intercept is 3. Now for the function g of x, and graphs are actually just as easy for the y-intercept. We look when x is 0 at the bottom here, and then we look up to see where that is for the y, and that looks like 3.5. So g of x equals 3.5. We would say function g has a bigger y-intercept. Now we can solve a real-world problem. It says a spider descends a 20-foot drain pipe at a rate of 2.5 feet per minute. Another spider descends the drain pipe as shown in the table. Find and compare the rates of change and the initial values of the linear functions in terms of the situations that they model. So here they gave us the representation of the function in words. Let's turn that into an equation here. So spider number one, we can write this as y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. x is going to be the number of minutes, the time, and then y would be the height that the spider is at. Well, here's the rate. Remember, the rate is usually the slope, so it's going down 2.5. It's descending 2.5 feet per minute. So our slope would be negative 2.5. So we'd have y equals negative 2.5x. Now we're going to add the y-intercept. So where is the spider when it starts? Well, when it starts, it's at the top of that 20-foot drain pipe, meaning that it's going to be 20 feet high. So our y-intercept, our b, would be 20. Spider 2, we can write this as an equation to compare it then. So let's turn this into an equation. We have y equals mx plus b. Well, we can find the b right away, which is the y-intercept. That's 32. So whatever it is, it's plus 32. Now we can find the slope by doing rise over run. So if we use these two points for our rise over run, our rise, we went from 32 to 29. That's down 3 over a run of 1, so that turns into negative 3. It would be negative 3 times x plus 32, a multicolored function here. y equals negative 3x plus 32. So what can we say about this? And I'm running out of room to write, so I'll just explain it. 
this spider is starting at a higher level, meaning this one's crawling down a longer drain pipe than that one by about 12 feet. However, this one is crawling down at a faster rate. This is decreasing its height at a faster rate than this one. This one's going down 2.5 feet per minute, and this one's going down 3 feet per minute.